Okay, so for this question, I'm going to be using the multiplier method. So I'm going to first of all work out uh, what the multiplier will be. Well, it's compound interest, so it's going to go up. So we'll start off with 100%. It's going to go up by 3.4%. So we'll end up with 103.4%. To work that out as a multiplier, 103.4%. percent i am going to divide it by 100. Okay, it just makes it a decimal, which we call a multiplier. So if I multiply anything by 1.034, then it will go up by 3.4%. Okay, now there are very advanced ways of answering this question, okay, using logarithms, but at GCSE you don't learn about them. So we've got to think of another way. We know that we start off with 1,700, and we know that if we times by 1.034, then it will increase it by 3.4%. We know the number we want to try and get to. So what you do is you get your calculator and you type in 1,700. Now I'm going to ask you to do something a bit weird. You're going to press the equal sign. The reason you press the equal sign is if you then type in times 1.034, then you'll get the, and you press equals, you'll get the answer to the first year, which is 1,757.8. So that's year one. But if you then press equals again, you'll get the answer to the second year, which is 1,817.56. That's year two. Press equals again, you get 1,879.36, year three. And we're not quite there yet. Press equals again, you get 1,943.26, which is the answer in the question. So it's taken us four years. Now you could write down the values after each year, which probably would be sensible, or you could just do 1,700 times 1 1.034 to the power of four, because we took four years, and that does equal 1,943.26.